a bunch of dead guys on it. Oh, come on, son. One more picture. Now smile. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Wow, she's good. Very good. Sure, Saturday night would be perfect, Jason. Cool. I'll pick you up at 8. Did you see that? I just got a date with Jason Roberts. Mandy's going to so hate me. She's been wanting to go out with him for like... Dear. Uh, no problem. That was just the million dollar prototype for our new billion dollar surveillance satellite. Ooh. Spies, I've called you here because I've got an important assignment for you. Famous landmarks from around the world are being stolen. How does someone steal a landmark? Aren't they big and kind of connected to the ground? Well, our perpetrator has found a way to shrink them, then suck them up into the sky. We've acquired some video taken by tourists who have witnessed these events. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Oops. Now, it seems that this thief is moving from west to east, so according to Whoop calculations, the Taj Mahal is the next target. Cool, we get to go to Mexico. Uh, India. Yes, and we will be <gasps> posing as diplomats. Here are your papers, credentials, and native costumes. Now, for your gadgets. Wow. Today's specials include an all-in-one lipstick and titanium extender rod. Ugh, I look horrible in pinks. A locator deactivator rhinestone headband, turbo fuel jetpack backpacks, telescopic optic 2000 sunglasses with built-in cam, a laser cutter eyelash curler, and a cad bop. Is that one of those fruit-flavored snacks? No, it's a climb anything dirt bike that's octane powered. What? Uh, one thing, Jer, how long do you think this mission will take? I what? can't be sure, actually. As long as it takes for you to find and stop whoever is behind this. Well, you see, I've got this date Saturday night, so it would be better for me if we could just be back by then! <laughs> Wow, that is amazing. <sighs> it's even bigger than some of the houses in Beverly Hills. <sighs> I don't understand why you had to lug all your clothes with you. Fashion crisis. I need to pick out what to wear on my date. Number one rule in dating, the outfit is everything. Wait, isn't that the number one rule in life? Uh-oh, seems like Jerry overlooked one little detail. How are we going to get in? We're diplomats, remember? We have papers and credentials. Huh? Huh? It closed for renovations. No one gets in. What do we do now? I'm thinking... Four days till Jason. Can you think a little faster? Yeah! Who's up for climbing? <laughs> oh. uh. How do girls move in these things? Don't worry. I can fix this. You know, since short is last year's long, I'm thinking we market these things and make a killing. All right, you guys, let's do what we do best. Cool. Point me toward the gift shop. Mm. Place looks clean. 
I'm contacting Jerry and telling him that Whoop's calculations are wrong. Wait, what's this? It's either a tracking device or a way cool mood ring. Let me see. Jerry. Hello, ladies. Uh, Jer, the Taj Mahal kind of got away from us, if you know what we mean. But we recovered this tracking device. Mm -hmm. And to catch whoever's behind this, we need you to see if its frequency matches any other frequencies of tracking devices elsewhere in the world. Let's see. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, I'm picking up a faint signal near the Great Wall. Looks like we're Peru-bound. Uh, try China? Hmm. I wish you could help me find an outfit for my date. This locator should find the tracking device, no problem. Uh, ha! Here it is. Now let's deactivate it. Like I said, let's deactivate it. Let me try. There you go. And you thought I wear these just because they look good. Ah! Found anything yet, Alex? Not yet. Whoa, headache. Hey, what is that? I think I see a black speck. Or is it a black dot? Huh? No, it's kind of like a black piece of rice. Why don't you zoom in and find out? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that's a black blimp with two people on board. All right, spies, time to fly. How are we gonna get in? This thing's got turbo, right? You could have warned me you were going to do that. Check that out. I have a sneaky suspicion this is the shrinking machine where all the action's coming from. And there are the people responsible. And they're like two feet tall. I don't care if you can't locate the tracking device. Use manual controls. But get me my great wall. Then return immediately to the island so we can find out what's broken and get ready to carry out the rest of my plan. Yes, sir. We've got to deactivate that machine. This should do the trick. Huh? What was that? I'll check it out. Time for plan B. Ugh. Sally, we have invaders. Invader this! to arm wrestle these guys. Sinclair, get the one by the machine. I'll take the other two. <laughs> I've got you now. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Zephyr with the Alpha X9 ray gun. <laughs> oh, here comes my lunch. Gotcha! Stay put. Where am I going to go? Quick! Zap the other two! This is just great. How am I going to try on my clothes for my date? An analysis of the strange purple substance on Clover's pants reveals this could only be the work of one man. Diminutive Smalls. Diminutive who? 
Smalls. Years ago, he was a whoop scientist working on a formula to increase strength by reducing mass. There was a freak accident. He and his two siblings got shrunk by his own machine but gained incredible strength. It seems Diminutive has now perfected the shrinking process and wants revenge. If only he'd gotten a little therapy, then the whole world wouldn't be in this mess. We've been picking up an unusual level of radiation from a small island in the South China Sea called Jarnesia. Our experts believe he may have set up camp there. That's probably the island they were talking about. We'll check it out right away. He's dangerous, so be careful, spies. Hey, what about me? Yes, we're already working on an antidote for you, Clover. Good, because you see, in two days, I've got this date with this guy named Jason who... I know, I know. But did I tell you about the dimple he's got right in the middle of... Oh, so sorry, I, I think we're breaking up. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Almost anything, dirt bikes. I have an idea. This should do the trick. That wasn't the belt I lent you, was it? We're ready to go. Clover! I want to thank you for being our guinea pig. Now that I see how well my device works on humans... The world's greatest monuments all in one place! I've decided to dream a little bigger. Instead of shrinking and stealing the monuments of the world so I could decorate my island, I'm going to shrink and steal the cities of the world, people and all, so I can have subjects to rule over. Listen, pal, you're never going to get away with this. Oh, like you're going to stop me. <laughs> All right, let's turn her into an ant. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our chance. I'll tackle the annoying one. You grab the other two. Gotcha. <laughs> I said I'll tackle the annoying one. I know, so why are you going after that one? She's the annoying one. Not half as annoying as that one. <laughs> now, when this machine gets nice and toasty, you girls will be shrunk to the size of dust particles. 
Too bad we won't be able to watch, but we've got a little city to shrink and steal called Tokyo. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> now what? I can't reach my gadgets. Look, my laser cutter eyelash curler shrunk along with me. This whole time, I could have had great lashes and didn't know it. Now we have a city to save. Strap on your jetpack backpacks and let's blow this joint. Wait up! There they are, and they're almost ready to go. Maybe we can destroy the blimp's steering system so Smalls can't hold it in position. How did those annoying little pests get free? That's it. Hand me the portable Alpha X9. Watch out! I think he sees us! <laughs> Try this on for size. No! I can't watch. Me neither. That gives me an idea. Okay, we're here. What now? Follow my lead. Oh no! My jetpack is running out of fuel. So is mine. Really, mine's fine. Alex. We'd outlast them. Now, this is where the fun really starts. Ready? Aim. Fire. Once again, a job well done. Thanks, Jerry! Yo, guys! Uh, hey, hello! Can you ease up a bit? Good thing I kept my old doll's outfits. Hold on. I'll get it. Hey, uh, this is for, uh... Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, quick, quick. Shoot me with a gun. Then I'll have just enough time before Jason shows up to change out of this awful doll outfit and into my special date outfit. Let me do it. No, let me. Oh, my. Oh, no. I can't wear these. I can't wear anything. Jason can't see me like this. What am I gonna do? <gasps> cancel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you go to the door and cancel my date. Tell him I'm sick, that I have the flu, and we'll have to reschedule. Are you sure? I mean, you could borrow something of ours. No way, girls. I've been planning my perfect outfit all week. Hi, Jason. Hi, girls. Is Clover ready? She's very sick. Spots everywhere. She's sorry, but she cannot go out with you today. That was close. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, hey, Mandy. What's going on? <gasps> How totally lame! He's actually falling for that? Jason, wait! I'm feeling much better! Those crazy 10 minutes! I'm glad Clover's back to her normal self. 
Not sure normal quite describes it.